you guys so today I'm gonna be doing the backwards makeup challenge and basically what the backwards makeup challenge is is where you do like your last thing then we're gonna do your makeup look you do it first and then you do your first thing last so yeah it's basically that so you do them like out of order so yeah I'm just gonna get started Okay guys, so I just put my hair up because um, I want to get it on my face, so it's not my face. Okay, so the last thing I would probably do would be lipstick. And guys, sorry about the horrible angle, I just need it because it's on the place where I have my mirror. So yeah. And I'm going to do my really dramatic lipstick this time. It's called Still Crazy and it's ColourPop. I usually never do this lipstick because it's really dark and I'm not a fan of really dark because I got a dark by accident. But I'm going to do it for this makeup look because I just feel like using it. Okay guys, next I'm going to do my mascara, so this is probably going to be a complete fail this video, but I'm going to try. Guys, you can't see me doing it. Okay guys, so I just finished doing that. Now guys, the next step there we go, would be eyeliner. And guys, I don't do my eyeliner on the top lid. I only do it on my um, lash line, lower lash line, because I'm not going to do it on my top. So I'm going to do it on my lower lash line. So let's do this. Well, guys, I finished that, and now this line right here is sort of like running. My mascara started running underneath, so it looks even worse, and it looks even blacker. But let's just keep going. Oh, now it would be my eyeshadow. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna be using this. You had me at Hello ColourPop. Um, here it is. I'm think I'm gonna be using these two colors right here. So I'm gonna be using this orange color, and then this color. It's like pinkish. So I'm going to use the orange one in my crease. So I'm going to get my brush. This this brush. And I'm going to take this orange color right here. Okay, orange color right there. That one. I'm going to take some of it and I'm going to put it in my crease. Guys, who actually does it? No, I'm going to both my eyes. And guys, I actually am trying my best. So if it does end up looking horrible, bad. Now I'm going to take this brush, guys. And I'm going to take this right here, this color right here, and put it on my, um, lid. Okay, guys, so the next thing would be my eyebrows. So I usually use this color, guys, and I have an eyebrow kit. I used to use this all the time, but it's running out now, so I don't use it anymore. Now I just use this. So I'm going to take this, and I'm just going to apply it my eyebrows and guys I know my eyebrows look horrible and they're definitely I've never gotten them um what's it called I never got them I never got them waxed that's what it's called waxed or threaded before so they look really bad but I'm just too scared to do that so they don't have any shape or anything I just fill them in that's all I do I make them a little darker just to have more color and yeah so do not judge my eyeshadow, I mean my eyebrow look, because, you know, I'm horrible at eyebrows. I just like to do it to fill them in and to make them darker. Like I said, just make some pop a little bit more for you to tell I actually have eyebrows. Even though my eyebrows are pretty dark already, so you can already tell. Hold it. There we go. This is where it's going to start getting really hard, but I'm going to be doing my contour, because I'm going to have to do foundation over top of all of this at the end. <sighs> Okay, well, I'm starting with my contour, and I'm just going to take it and put it where I need to go. I look really weird right now because I have no foundation. So I put on my cheeks where it's supposed to go. I'm really bad at contouring, so guys, do not judge my contour job. Okay, then I put some on my chin and my forehead yep mm-hmm put 
I'm gonna learn more just because I like to have a definition. Okay, good enough. Now, guys, I'm gonna do my highlighter, as you guys can see right here. It's just this e.l.f. highlighter. I love e.l.f. You guys didn't know that e.l.f. is a really good brand. Especially looking for a really good cheap makeup brand. It's a drugstore brand, by the way, by the way. Um, but guys, you shouldn't judge them just because they're drugstore. Drugstore brand makeup brands are actually still really good. You don't need to buy really good expensive makeup. You can go to the drugstore and get just as good of makeup. Well, okay, maybe drugs. I mean, maybe high-end makeup would be better, but drugstore still is really good. My sister and my cousin do not think that, though. But, my opinion, I think it works just as good. Okay, so... Uh, I'm just applying my highlighter. And guys, if you didn't know this, I put a lot on because I love highlighter. Highlighter and mascara are my two favorite makeup products of all time, guys. If they didn't if they didn't exist, I don't think I'd ever do makeup. It just completely your makeup look. It makes you look amazing. Okay, guys, here's where it's going to start getting hurry mal. So, I'm going to take my concealer guys and i'm gonna put it on and this is where it's gonna start getting really bad because i'm gonna cover up a lot of spots even though this concealer isn't it's like ran out basically i have no good concealer all my concealers are like ran now i need more concealer but you know okay well i'm just gonna do this put it on all my blemishes this one might not be that bad but when i put on my foundation oh it's gonna be a gong show okay that's the best that I can do. Then I'm going to take my beauty blender, guys. This one. I'm just going to blend it in. I think that's good enough. Now, guys, here comes the really horrible part. I'm gonna be doing my foundation. Okay, so since guys, sorry, since guys, I don't have a lot of um foundation left. I take this off and I'm gonna put it on. This is where it's gonna get really horrible because it's gonna be covering up all the stuff I just did on my face. But let's do it anyway. This is part of the challenge. I'm just gonna put it everywhere I would put it normally. If I didn't have it, which is everywhere, so it's gonna basically just cover up everything, and this is gonna be the worst part of my makeup. But, but so far, guys, I'm actually not hating it. It's actually not looking that bad. And I take this side, not the other side, and I rub into the dab. Okay, here's where it's gonna get bad. Mm. You guys, so I finished that. So far, it's not looking that bad, actually. This challenge has actually been going. Pretty good actually. Okay, well, um, the last thing, guys, is my face primer. <clears throat> and this is the first thing I would ever do when I usually do my makeup, so I'm gonna do the last. And guys, basically, the only thing it did is covered up some of my stuff that I had underneath, but it really doesn't look that bad. Honestly, I'm telling the truth, guys. And it sort of made my mascara run a little bit on this side, but other than that, it's not that bad. Okay, well, I'm just going to put it on, rub it on, all over my face, my nose, on my cheeks, on my lips, and all rub it on. Okay. I'm going to show you guys close up my finished look. I'm actually pretty proud of my makeup, guys. It didn't turn out that bad. Here it is. You can see it's sort of like, the only thing though it sort of did guys, is it sort of, if you guys can see it sort of like took away my highlighter and my contour. But other than that, it doesn't look that bad. My eyeshadow actually turned out quite good. Except for the fact it's not like blended, but that's my fault. Not because it's blended backwards. And in this eye, you can see a little bit, it got a little bit like underneath my eyes. So now it's black underneath. But um, yeah, overall, not the worst. Okay, guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below how bad you guys think I did. If you guys, yeah. And I'm going to rate myself out of 10. I'll rate myself a 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. So I'm going to say I did like a 
Actually, I'm going to say seven. I just think I did actually pretty good. No, actually, I'll give myself an eight, actually. 8.5. Because I really think I did pretty good. The only thing is, though, like I said, is that it covered my um, foundation. I mean, not my foundation. My, con my God, contour and my um, highlight. Other than that, I think it's pretty good. So, yeah. Subscribe, become a member of the Queen Squad. Bye, Jessers. Thank <laughs> you.